Are you fed up with your local internet service provider or ISP? Do you feel like your local ISP isn't acting in your best interest in terms of internet coverage, price, and customer service? Have you ever dreamed of having access to high-speed internet from anywhere on earth with no data caps and no net neutrality bullshit? If you're satisfied with your local ISP, stick around. This video may have insights as to how much you're missing out on. For those of you that are not satisfied with your ISP, you're in the right place. I have some good news to share with you today. This video includes stories of monopolies, rockets, greed, poor policy making, a billionaire, ambitious goals, and hype that's attracted millions to join a beta program. So let's get into it. Just a quick note to those that are visiting my channel for the first time, welcome. You should know that around here, we welcome all feedback and comments. My goal here is to build a community around this channel to share ideas, to help each other out. I'll see you in the comment section below. To my subscribers, I really appreciate the support and I thoroughly enjoy conversing with you. For the past few years, my local internet service provider, Spectrum, has been charging me $79 a month for 200 megabytes per second download, just internet, no cable, no landline. Spectrum and a smaller regional ISP, Cincinnati Bell, have had a stranglehold on the greater Cincinnati area. It always seems like they're trying to beat each other to the bottom. Poor customer service, price hikes, antiquated hardware, and 1990s styled user interfaces. I mean, come on. And don't even get me started on Cincinnati Bell's fiber optic cable pipe dreams. It appears to me that our regional cable monopolies think that their customers simply want faster horses. When in reality, we want competition, which drives innovation, which leads to better outcomes for consumers. It's very simple. Listen, this ISP issue has boiled over the top and we're literally looking to space to solve the issue. Forget about burying fiber optic cable in the ground. Let me introduce you to Starlink. Starlink is a satellite internet constellation operated by SpaceX, providing satellite internet access to most of Earth. Starlink is the modern approach to high-speed internet. And of course, who else did we expect to disrupt the internet landscape all across the globe other than Elon Musk himself? Forget the regional ISPs, Starlink is global. Regional ISPs are concentrated around city centers, while Starlink is focused on providing high-speed internet access to suburbs and rural areas, including schools and remote sections of Chile, for example. You're probably thinking, hold up, Chris. Why does a billionaire care about providing internet connections to remote locations? Well, let's take a step back. SpaceX is Elon Musk's private rocket company. SpaceX's mission is to make life multiplanetary. In order to fund and attempt to achieve those ambitions, SpaceX needs to increase and stabilize their cash flows. Starlink is one of SpaceX's revenue streams. Other revenue streams include launching private companies and other nations' satellites into orbit, as well as NASA-funded cargo resupply and crewed missions to the International Space Station. Starlink is the only revenue stream that comes from common folk like you and I. Well, NASA is funded by American taxpayers, so, well, you get my point. Starlink is a way for those interested in space exploration to help fund SpaceX's mission to the moon and Mars. SpaceX's satellite internet service is a technological marvel. Starlink promises to provide access from a constellation of tens of thousands of tiny satellites blanketing the Earth, using a cutting edge phased array antenna in the dish to quickly track the satellites as they're moving across the sky. When it's fully deployed, Starlink will operate the world's largest satellite constellation. The satellites are also programmed to deorbit at the end of their useful life in order to prevent space junk. Starlink is ideally suited for areas of the globe where connectivity has typically been a challenge. Unbounded by traditional ground infrastructure, think of Cincinnati Bell's fiber optic cables buried in the ground, Starlink can deliver high-speed broadband internet to locations where access has been reliable or completely unavailable. Starlink became available in the northern Kentucky and greater Cincinnati area on February 8th, 2021. I placed my order right away. I couldn't resist. My Starlink hardware kit arrived 20 days later on February 28th. And due to the record snowfall that year, 
The first opportunity I had to install the dish on my roof was March 14th. More on the installation of the Starlink kit later in the video. Once I confirmed Starlink could provide consistent speeds over 150 megabytes per second, I canceled my Spectrum internet service. Starlink is a lot of very bold engineering advancements packaged up for a one-time payment of $500 and a monthly subscription of $99. Starlink is now delivering initial beta service both domestically and internationally, and will continue expansion to near global coverage of the populated world in 2021. During the beta program, you can expect to see data speeds vary from 50 megabytes per second all the way up to 250 megabytes per second, and latency from 20 milliseconds to 40 milliseconds in most locations over the next several months as SpaceX enhances the Starlink program. There will also be brief periods of no connectivity at all. On average, I've had to reset my router once a month due to connectivity issues. Simply disconnect and reconnect the power supply to reset the system. This has always solved my connection issues within five to 10 minutes. As SpaceX continues to launch more satellites, install more ground stations and improve their networking software, the data speed and latency will improve dramatically. Now, I can't mention Elon without sharing his public and very ambitious Starlink goal of one gigabyte per second download speeds. Starlink has a ways to go before getting to one gig down, but hey, at least Starlink is aiming for the stars here. Spectrum always seems to be staring down at the ground. The Starlink hardware kit includes the satellite dish, which is connected to a black 100 foot ethernet cable, one metal tripod, one power adapter, and one spacey symmetrical Wi-Fi router, which comes with its own white ethernet cable. If you thought Ikea's pictogram instructions were simple, take a look at Starlink's setup guide. Starlink's setup is incredibly simple. Plug in both ethernet cables to the power adapter, plug the power adapter into the wall, connect the satellite to the tripod mount, Mount the tripod to your roof or wherever you have a clear view of the sky and you're done. Don't worry about fumbling around with pointing the dish in the right direction. There are motors that rotate and tilt the dish to align it automatically. Thank you, Elon. Since Starlink requires a clear view of the sky, the Starlink app includes an augmented reality lens, which helps you determine the best install location. You'll want to avoid trees and other tall buildings. Okay, let's talk speed. But first, a few comments on what internet speed is. Speed is defined as latency, which is the time it takes to send data from one point to the next. When satellites are far from Earth, latency is high, resulting in poor performance for video calls and online gaming. Starlink satellites are over 60 times closer to Earth than traditional satellites, resulting in lower latency and the ability to support services typically not possible with traditional satellite internet. All right, so I've used Starlink every day since installing the kit in March 2021, and as my primary service provider since April of 2021. Yes, there were some low resolution Zoom calls in the early days, and even a few buffering moments during some midday your mom's house binging. Don't act like you didn't watch. So what are you waiting for? Starlink.com can determine whether your address is within the beta boundaries, and if so, follow the site's instructions to purchase your hardware kit right away. For those of you that are viewing this video using Starlink internet, share your Starlink experience in the comments below. I don't know anyone else that has this service yet, so let's chat. Also, I'm curious to hear from the people that are on the fence about signing up for Starlink internet. Share your concerns in the comments below.